Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal, and for this video, we got to do a couple things. One, sight in my 6.5 Creedmoor. A lot of you guys have been saying, hey, we want to see 6.5 Creedmoor videos. What happened to your 6.5 Creedmoor? Well, I robbed the scope off of this one for something else, and this Ruger American 6.5 Creedmoor of mine has been scopeless. So, we hadn't been making videos on it for quite a long time. But if you love 6.5 Creedmoor and you want to see more on this one, we have videos from quite a while back. Uh, videos at a thousand yards and stuff like that. Uh, but, now, we're getting this baby back in action. So, we got to sight this baby in with this new scope I put, just put on here. And, a lot of you guys have been asking me to test out this normal whitetail ammo that's been hitting the shelf. So... I literally bought every caliber I could get my hands on. I'll show you this while I got it up here. How heavy is this? 140 grain, normal whitetail. Picked up a bunch of this stuff from Ammo Shop Online. Chances are they probably still have some if you need to go uh, find you some hunting ammo or something else. Go check out Ammo Shop Online. That's where I found all this normal whitetail. But, should be a quick one. Got this uh, Nikon... Pro Staff P3, I think is what this scope is called. And yeah, Ruger American Predator. It's always been a good one to me, but now we got a scope on her and we're gonna see how she likes this normal whitetail ammo. So another goal of mine is to film a whitetail hunt with every single caliber. Um, and I have never taken a deer with the 6.5 Creedmoor yet. So we gotta have this baby ready for deer season coming up soon. And yeah. Let's uh, see if we can sight this baby in. Should be pretty fun, check it out. All right, so the way that I typically sight in rifles is I just come to 10 yards, bore sight it to be a little bit low, and two to three inches low at 10 yards will get you pretty close at 100 yards, then we'll just dial it in at 100. So here is gonna be our first shot at 10 yards. Let's see where we're hitting and probably uh, make an adjustment or two, but just put one in there for now. Let's see where we're at at 10 yards. Hopefully not too far off. Hey, so we're pretty close to bullseye, but we need to be two inches low, like I said. So we make a few adjustments and then we'll take one more. I think right about there will do us pretty good. I didn't count the clickies, so I just kind of eyeballed it in the scope. But let's uh, let's hope I clicked it the right way. See if this one gets us a little bit low a bullseye here. Might have clicked it the wrong way. Wouldn't be the first time. And we're only about an inch low, so I'm going to go with some more. And I'm going to go ahead and give it some to the right. And I think that's going to be good enough for us to be at least on a paper plate at 100 yards. Let's go back to 100 and give her a whirl. Get this 6.5 Ruger sighted in again. Here is another little quick up close look at this Ruger American. 6.5 Creedmoor Predator model has a threaded barrel and again we're going to be slinging this normal whitetail 140 grain at 100 yards let's get it sighted in quick back at 100 yards this is where I always hope that the rifle lacks the ammo but let's uh do what we gotta do here to get my rifle sighted in with this new scope and then I'll do a, a three shot group or two and we'll see how consistent I can be with this setup. I'm going to go ahead and load three in here. Alright, 
hopefully, oh, scoot the seat up. Hopefully we're mm -hmm. sighted in close enough to hit that paper plate at 100 yards. We're gonna give her all the zoom, which is 18 on this baby. More zoom is the better, I always say. Oh, and we gotta set the parallax for 100, not 10 yards. So we can actually uh, see something. Oh yeah, much better. All right, let's see what happens here. First shot, getting this baby sighted in. Not too bad, not too bad. Maybe an inch left and an inch high. So, I'm just gonna do three clicks each way. So it's high, so we need to go down. And it's left, so we need to go right. Did three clicks each way there. I'm gonna mention it because I just saw the blue stuff, but I don't plan on ever taking the scope off. So I went ahead and did the blue Loctite. And yeah, hopefully we get us a whitetail with this setup. Let's take that second shot here and see if we're closer to that bullseye. So, I'm going to go ahead and come back up one, and to the right one. Somebody said, oh no, don't touch the scope until you fling three bullets. Nah, that's not the way I do it, man. Let's take a third one, then we're probably going to call it good. Yep, so we just jumped to the other side of the bullseye with those adjustments. So, I'm going to call that sighted in right there. I'm going to load up three more. And we'll do a three-shot group with the Ruger American 6.5 Creedmoor Predator and the normal whitetail. If I didn't say it already, that circle down there at 100 yards, that is a penny that I traced. Which somebody commented in another video that that penny is three quarters of an inch. So, just to give you some sort of reference. But, let's go to a clean plate and see what she can do. Three shot group here. Felt really good about that trigger squeeze and we hit the bullseye. Let's take a second shot. Woohoo! I think we got a good combo nation, fellas. That one, if it wasn't touching the first shot, it was pretty close to it. Let's see what this one gets here. Third shot. Felt good about that one too. Where'd we hit? Ah, a tad bit high. A tad bit high. Let's go ahead and do another one. If those all three were touching, I would have called it quits, but I want to do some more testing. We're not letting this baby cool down, but that's just the way I do these videos. And that average um, is a little bit high. So I'm going to go ahead and click her down one click. And we'll see what happens. Load three more and do a clean plate down there. If you can tell already, I really enjoy these videos seeing what kind of precision we can get out. This is really a budget friendly rifle, 100% budget-friendly scope, budget-friendly ammo. So, and I love it when, when we get good groups like that. But, see what we can get. Do one more little three-shot group here quick. Felt really good about that trigger squeeze. Felt good about that one too. Looks like those are touching. I love it. Let's do another one. Third and final one on this group. Not good about that one. Hoo -wee. I love it. Let's go down there and take a look. That average is still a tad high. So, I'm going to click it down two more. 
All right, so walking up to our targets here. This is where we sighted it in, first, second, and third shots at 100 yards. Then we went to a clean plate, took three shots, and remember, that is a penny. I'll put my thumb there. That is definitely a thumbnail group there. Very impressive. Then we said, let's try it again, make sure that wasn't a fluke. And I think that second group was even a little bit better than the first one there. I'll put my thumb up there too, just to show you. Definitely a thumbnail group. But hey, two thumbnail groups in a row, I think that's, uh, that's pretty impressive. I don't know about you, but I love it when we can squeeze that kind of precision out of our hunting setups. But there you have it, guys. This is my personal 6.5 Creedmoor that I've owned for quite a while. And to tell you the truth, I absolutely love it. When we talk about good groups and precision, I have always had really good luck with this Ruger American. You guys know I'm a big Ruger American fan. We got tons of videos of them on the channel. But um, also, we were testing out this new normal whitetail in 6.5 Creedmoor. 140 grain stuff and I'm happy to say uh, without a doubt when we take out the 6.5 Creedmoor deer hunting this season that's what we're going to be taking uh, out of this rifle we proved it here today showed you the groups very very impressed uh, with the groups from that whitetail ammo out of this Ruger but like I said we've been testing a bunch of that whitetail normal whitetail ammo um, if 6.5 Creedmoor doesn't float your boat, go check out the channel. There's a good chance we've already tested that Norma stuff in your favorite caliber. we still got some more to do. There's a whole bunch we're running through the list. But appreciate you guys watching this 6.5 Creedmoor video. Let me know in the comments down below. Whoa, don't drop it. What do you think about 6.5 Creedmoor? A lot of people love it. A lot of people hate it. I think it's hard to knock it. It's got enough power to take a deer. That's been proven many, many times. Uh, and it's light recoiling and it's a very flat round so really it's hard to find anything wrong with the 6.5 Creedmoor unless you're just really looking for something with some megaton slap something more like a 300 WSM 300 wind mag 7 millimeter rim mag uh, that stuff definitely has more boogie but it also has more recoil and some people can't um, handle that heavier recoil uh, enter 6.5 Creedmoor but, appreciate y'all watching big time. I could ramble on all day. You guys know I love it. But, don't forget to check out all the links down below. Subscribe to our friends at Heavy Metal. We'll see you guys on the next one. Appreciate y'all watching. Hoo hoo!